We go into the next match a little bit as they're banning at the stages. Blackguard and Twilight, both possible. Mammoth Forge has gotten, gotten rid of really Great early Hall. On. I'm going to say Blackguard. Great Hall. Well, Daiku doesn't have the ban. It's the Great Hall. The brain's going to take him there. Oh, oh no! no we're going to Blackguard. So, the brain no longer on, um, on Core. He doesn't want to go back to it ever since he lost that match against Noel. We're going to be going with this Three, Diana two, versus Bonvar matchup. Here we go, game one of Losers Finals, Daiku versus Dobrin. Daiku with his hammer gets a sideline onto Dobrin. Dobrin's still running around with this unarmed, picks up a set of guns. Gets a nice there. Daiku throws away the hammer and is jumping around. Very interesting. Not sure if it's a bait or if I think he's trying just, to test his ping. I think he's just burning time to be able to wait for a weapon spawn, similar to what he did against Will. Uh, I, uh, no. No, yeah, he's just doing that. Durain is just as confused. <laughs> it's like, it might be a ping test thing. I'm not quite sure. It's a nice snare comes out and sword comes out. Tries to go in for a neutral light. Thank you. Evening it up a little bit as he finally gets that weapon spot. He goes beneath the map and he just recovers. No, Daiku. Okay, ground it's ground pound. Ground from pound. Dobrin. He has his jumps, gets back up. I but Dobrin, or Daiku just hasn't really been putting out too much aggression. I don't know what's going on. They must be talking about the, the lag. I don't know. There might be an issue with ping or something. Are they both here? I'm going to check in with the brain. Everything. Everything okay? All right, they're still jumping around. They're definitely still in game. Maybe Dyke is waiting for his connection to settle. All right. Since they just switched. So now we're going back into it. Great. There's a little, little break in the hype there, but no, they seem to be fine now. They're fighting it out at the ring. It's a nice cider at the Dyke. When he gets a downer on the way down. Whoa! Ground pound. What and a turnaround! He's going to take the first stock after the weirdest moment now, in this game. Despite that start, right? It was such a cool punish for me because the brain loves to go for falling stairs, whether he's got the axe, the guns, whatever it is. And Daiku, instead of trying to dodge it, waits, hits him with a down air, and takes his stock prematurely. The brain ends up losing out on the first stock against Daiku here. That down air coming out, trying to KO Daiku, and the second down air will do it. The brain evens it up quite quickly, but that was such a great down air from Daiku. Bomb toss from Dobrin, able to spot dodge it, throws out some dares onto Daiku. Daiku's taking quite a bit of damage. Dodges down beneath, but Dobrin immediately double dare into a Sayer. Dobrin is racking up so much damage onto Daiku. Daiku picks up a sword, dodges down, gets a nice downlight into a dare and a neutral light to follow up. That was such a great dodge to avoid that downlight. The brain's taking a little bit of damage now as the brain stopped getting damage on. But the Sayer connects, waits for that end but Daiku gets in with that side light, tries to go in with more hammer aerials. So not really connecting to down air from the brain will connect. Daiku, get away to Sayer. Another Sayer comes out from the brain and the brain goes to that ground pound, trying his best to be able to fight against Daiku. Daiku picks up the sword. Avoids the side sick Dobrin, max range, gets a Sair, Daiku's got so much damage on him, he's gotta be careful, recovers back to the right wall. Dobrin, looking for that max range side light into a follow up, or just a raw Sair. But Dobrin needs to get a hit before Daiku is able to add up too much damage and even out this difference. Daiku using weapon tosses to try to get in, but isn't able to get the hit. There's a nice dare, picks up a sword, gets a Sair. Oh, but the dare from Dobrin is going to keep him at bay again. Ooh, the mind toss comes out. The nair from Daiku. They're just keeping this really even. That side stick from Dobrin left him in a position to get punished. Two nair in a row. Another nair might KO Dobrin off the top there's of the side. And there's the weapon toss from Daiku to finish it off. On one hand, I think Dobrin's pretty happy he didn't get hit into that mine. But on the other, that weapon toss is a little bit brutal. Dobrin wants to finish off the stock of Daiku. Daiku recovers very low. Gets Dobrin with a nair and immediately dodges back to the wall to get his jumps. Daiku holding on to this lead as the brain is struggling to kill with these guns. The signature uses won't work, and the bomb nearly connects with the brain as he picks up a weapon. So many weapons being tossed off stage, and Daiku just holding on to the ledge. Gets back onto stage, tries to go in for a down here to brain. Playing very carefully with these guns as he's throwing out side after side. Daiku just needs to get a little bit more damage in here before he loses the stock. No brain hopping around, Daiku waiting for the opportunity to get on top of Dobrin. There's Dobrin just wants to max range again with this gun. 
Aiku playing very passively now that he knows the lead. Almost in the sense that it seems like he's stalling out the game. But there's the side air into neutral light. I'm willing to take that damage, and the stair oh, finally the hits. Stare. That is just how much damage Daiku had on him, and he was trying to be patient and not let Dobrin get that finisher, but Dobrin catches him with the stair, and now Daiku's got to look for a weapon. There's the weapon spawn, but is Dobrin going to keep him off of it? There's a hammer. Cider comes out from Daiku. Daiku gets hit by that Cider from Dobrin as well as he does a falling stair. Scoop comes out from Daiku, and nice dodge and plays will get the brain to be able to hit that side light onto him. Nair comes out as well. Daiku getting the damage racked up on him as the brain, who was at a deficit, is almost even this up now. These gun Nairs are incredibly damaging as a nice delay comes out, but Daiku doesn't get the punish. He does. Nair into side air. This might look like the brain's last stock. Down light side air. Dobrin taking down Daiku. is Player looking one, for the wins. run back onto Twilight, but he's got to get through Dobrin first. We'll see how they switch it up. Daiku's going to ban out Shipwreck and Mammoth. And this is on EU servers, despite being at any tournament, as both players are from EU, and they are playing on their home turf. So Daiku taking a legitimate game over to Brain's Diana. I wouldn't expect to see, I would expect to see, rather, a Legend Switch coming up from DeBrain. Like they're going to Twilight. Nope. Nope. Just kidding. They're both, they're both saying nope. No, no. So Daiku accidentally picks Twilight Grove and says oops, and then DeBrain was like, no, you're right, that's my stage. We'll go there. <laughs> DeBrain picking Ada. <laughs> and Three, two, we're going on to game one, two of this best of five. All right, so it looks like we are playing it out. This is game two of the best of five of Losers Finals. Dobrin versus Daiku. Dobrin with this Ada mix up. A nice sidelight on the Daiku. Daiku with that hammer toss into a sidelight. Coming out from Daiku here is the brain. Throws out that stair. Second stair connects, and DeBrain's just destroying Daiku with the spear right now. Bomb comes out. DeBrain misses out on getting hit by that, but that's like the fourth stair that's hit Daiku now. Is DeBrain is just trying to slash him apart with the point of that weapon. Da Daiku tries to make it back. It's a nice neutral light to stop that signature, and DeBrain put into the orange. Goes for that ground pound to read the weapon. Control like of both weapons, but Daiku. It's caught by the downlight side air. Dobrin's looking for the weapon. Does has the guns. Can he get the edge guard? No, he's just gonna wait for Daiku to try to pop up on that corner. Daiku is in the red. Dobrin with a short toss up in the air picks it back up. Gets a nice ground pound onto Daiku. Daiku's in trouble. Doesn't get hit by the spear toss. And he's back to the ground. Daiku is that Sarah Debrain on the side of the stage. Gets a falling nair there, and recovery comes out from Debrain, and he oh, manages to not get hit by that side stick, and the ground pound punishes Daiku for trying to go for an early kill there. Debrain takes the lead. Daiku, oh, gets the downlight, but can't get the recovery into the mine. That would have been nice, a cute way to even it up, but right now Daiku just needs a weapon of some sort to finish off this stock of Dobrin. Dobrin's not going to make it easy. He's going to go max range with his spear. The sidelight into a Sarah on the Do oh, Daiku. I think the light comes out from Daiku. And a neutral light from Dobrin as well. As the sidelight into Sarah comes out, Dobrin finds a nice bogo stick onto Daiku. And Daiku trying to end a stock on Dobrin is not working out as Dobrin is looking to take a second stock off Daiku here. And here it comes out. Nice D light. Drops the Sarah, however, and Daiku punishes Dobrin handily for that. Down stick thrown out from Dobrin, gets another ground pound onto Daiku, and Daiku is looking at a two stock deficit, and there it is, not able to get to the wall. Dobrin, two stocks in the lead right now, and Daiku has yet to finish it off on an Ada of all characters. Yeah, this was the character that Dobrin brought out when he was desperately behind against Addy Mestic at the GCEU tournament that he tried to win. It's what he had the most success with. Near the end, as he goes in for that chase dodge, sideline to side air, Daiku looking like he's gonna get three stocked by Dobrain's Ada. This spear is just destroying Daiku as the side air finally connects and Dobrain dies off the bottom of the map. Daiku takes a stock, but already in the orange. Stick charged up from Dobrain, but Daiku able to interrupt. Another ground pound from Dobrain is doing damage, and the Sair is gonna keep Daiku at bay. But he's got enough jumps to get back to that platform. Has a hammer, but needs to get a lot of damage on the Dobrin right now. I saw like Daiku and a side air from the brain as well. Weapon Toss tries to end Daiku's stock rather early as he's, well, not rather early, he's in the red. The brain gets that ground pound. 
Daiku's in trouble. Weapon toss. Ground pound. Daiku able to dodge down underneath. Bomb toss not going to connect. Guns in Dobrin's hands. Daiku on his last stock in the red. A nice side light. Dempsey comes Here. out. Brain tries to hit him with the stair. Doesn't work out. Thank you. Ground pound, and that'll finish it up. And that's game Player two, two going the way of Dobring. We're currently tied 1 1, and there are at least two more games to go. The so brain bans out Thunderguard and King's Pass, and we're going to see what Daiku picks. Maybe the Great Hall. Yes, it is the Great Hall, and he. We'll be taking the brain there. They're still leaving on blind pick when he could go for counter picks, but I guess they don't really care. Is he okay? There's the Daiku brings up the Cassidy. So he did not have a lot of success with this Cassidy against Twilight, but he did knock the brain into losers Three, at a GCU two, tournament with one, only Cassidy. Brawl. So it'll be cool to see whether or not this makes a huge difference against the brain. Gonna be interesting. Daiku has yet to pick up a weapon. Then there's from Dobrin into a neutral light. Daiku going forward, goes for the weapon toss into a pickup neutral light. Nice side light from Dobrin to be able to put on a Ser. Daiku brought to the orange, but that Ser will miss as Daiku dodges past. Throws away the hammer, gets a nice dare into Ser. Dobrin brought into red from the second Ser, and that Nair was looking to bring Dobrin even further into kill percent. Wow, these gun attacks from Cassie on an Ada are devastating. He only needs to land like four or five of them to bring him into kill percent. Dobrin finds himself beneath the stage, goes to that weapon toss into down air. Ground Pound comes out as well, and Daiku going for Ground Pound himself. Both players fight off stage, and Dobrin wins! Dobrin. Dobrin able to win out in that Ground Pound war, but just barely. Dobrin is in the red, and Daiku's going to want to finish that off. Goes for the gravity cancel, down heavy. Can't get the bomb connection on the edge again. There's a dare. Ground Pound, not going to connect. Dobrin gets above him, but the recovery from Daiku can send Dobrin to the sky, and the Sarah will finish it off. Daiku evens it up immediately 2-2 two two and without taking any damage. The brain calls in the weapons, the guns, and he goes for that side air. Both players trying to fight up with side airs right now, and the brain winning out slightly on this. Daiku goes for that rising down air. What's that idea? Lightning gets hit by an air. Not good news for Daiku as he finally lands some damage himself down air. Doesn't get to follow up the brain, and Daiku trading evenly. Both of them trying to have this gun battle. Neither of them connecting yet. Thrown out on both sides. I could connect with the stair into a neutral light. Daiku trying his best to hit these stairs. Goes for another stair as well. Daiku landing with that stair. Actually interrupts that ground pound with a nice stair of his own. Something that I like to be able to see for people to be able to punish ground pound with instead of dodging past them trying to hit them. And so Brain finds a nice downer, but the Brain's slowly losing all these trades here. Daiku doing quite well in this gun ditto against the Brain's Ada. But a nice nair from the Brain into a cider will even that up really quickly. And Daiku. Tries to make it back on the stage, finds a stair, disarms the brain, and a second stair nearly kills. Daiku chasing him all over the place with these guns. Daiku has gotten the, the deficit evened up. He wanted to finish off Dobrin, but Dobrin with these weapon tosses can't get the ground pound. Daiku currently on our mind thrown by Dobrin. Daiku picks up a set of guns. Dobrin not able to connect with the recovery. That Ooh. damage from the stair. Daiku. The gun in the sky, not gonna drop down on the Dobrin. He goes to the guns! Him with the recovery. The brain punishes Daiku for trying to pick up the guns, which are still lingering with the recovery, and that's it for Daiku's stock. But the brain's so damaged, anything will kill here. Like, he, that dive kick has so much force on it, and it's not supposed to. Daiku. Tries to go in for a stair, just trying to kill him with unarmed, and that might be bad. The brain can get a lot of damage on the Daiku really quickly here if he's not careful. That spike ball, waiting it out. The brain just dodges out of the way, and that stair says I'm flying. Daiku finally able to even up the stocks, but will he be able to take advantage of the weapon control that he's got right now? Dobri not yet picking up a weapon. There's a the spear, but Daiku's got to do something with these guns. Brain, we're back to the gun, you know. Stairs are being thrown out. Dobrain wins on the first one. Daiku looking for sidelines, literally just covering all angles here as he shoots up, down, and around him with these guns. He finally gets the brain a nice downer into a nice pivot nair. Daiku brought to the orange. Another nair connects nearly in the red. These nairs are so devastating. Downer connects. Sider as well. Daiku trying to make it back on stage. Sarah connects as well. Side stick from the brain. Daiku gets hit by that weapon toss, but no follow up from the brain. The brain looking to execute Daiku here and take game three so that he can get closer to making it to losers' finals to fight against Twilight. Daiku on the side of the stage, very close to death. 
Brown pound from Dobrin takes down Daiku. And Dobrin is up 2-1 after the switch to Ada. There we go. Game three going to Dobrin. And we're going to game four right away. And they're sticking to these legends. Daiku really wants to try to make it work with Cassidy. Three, two, one, brawl! Here we go, game four. Dobrin versus Daiku. If Daiku loses this, Dobrin is going to be moving on to winner's uh, grand finals. Otherwise, uh, they're going to a game five. But right now, Dobrin and Daiku are having that same gun ditto. On the same map, too. He's going to win it. Dobrin, putting out that neutral light. Daiku trying his best to find some stairs. Spotlight connects. Downer connects. Doesn't get the stair fall. Dobrin dodges high, but that stair will put Dobrin into the orange. Daiku doing a little bit better with these guns right now, but the brain is still stabilizing despite this. is just jumping left and right, throwing out stairs all the time. And Serum Daiku will actually put him into the stage. Ground pound comes out. He misses that opportunity. Drops onto the ledge, and Dobri now has weapon control. Bomb toss from Daiku. He's got a hammer. Gets the neutral sig. Dobrin sent to the sky, and Daiku's got the early stock advantage. Tosses that gun to the side and picks up some more guns. Dobrain which for a weapon spawn. Gets a stair, spear in hand, and I'm, not I'm actually surprised that Dobrain doesn't try to fight with the spear a little bit more against Daiku. I guess it's because guns are so good against them, and Dobrain gets a nice nair onto Daiku's down light, as he probably meant to put it there, and a side air will put Daiku close to the kill percent. Dobrain not taking too much damage yet. Simultaneous dares and dodges and side airs going off right now, as both players are not landing anything, and Daiku finally gets the damage. Side air puts him into the red. Dobrin catches Daiku with a dare. Both of them fishing for dares of their own. Side stick thrown out from Dobrin. Stair thrown out from Daiku. Now they hang out on the side for a little bit. Ground pound from Dobrin. Recovery from Dobrin. Daiku not able to punish any of these thrown out aerials. Ground pound. Ground pound. Oh, stop short of Daiku's head. Dare bounces Daiku into the sky and also disarms him. Ground pound connects. And Dobrin. Not too far damage. It was a long stock for sure, but the brain did not take any damage on it, and that recovery from Daiku did not interrupt him. Ooh, the end light sending him closer to the mine as the mine's trying to explode himself. The brain playing all around that mine on the ledge, and Daiku walks dangerously close to it as it sets itself off, and the brain looking to take the damage lead back here as Daiku's been starved of weapons completely. Daiku tries to dodge past, catches Dobrin with a neutral air. The hammer goes for the Ooh, gravity cancel and down clips. thing and it drops. That was interesting. There was a hitbox. It just didn't. Anyway, it dragged him for a little bit, but the dare and the neutral sig after the bounce. Daiku taking the stock advantage again, but we saw what Dobrin was able to do. Neutralize coming up from Daiku. And yeah, you're right. Dobrin, when he had the stock disadvantage before, he just brought it right back. And we're not seeing that happen yet. As a Nair connects. He's waiting for a few nares and side pairs from Daiku, or you know, a little bit more damage from Daiku. Brain getting hit by downer siders, that's not good. The brain now brought nearly in the kill percent from Cassie. Daiku decides to use a little bit more signatures than might be, but that's too Sarah to falling Sarah. Makes that stock a little bit faster. That will even it up 2-2, two, two, and now it's Daiku's chance to ban out two maps, but at this point, who's I, uh, they're so even, and I want to say Dobrin might switch characters, despite possible. the fact that the Ada was pretty effective. It didn't look that effective there. I mean, it may have also been a large part of the map. The Great Hall is something that Daiku really likes to play on, as well as Thunder Guard. But Dobrin having an opportunity to switch legends here, I really don't. He might go Barasa. I'm expecting that. I know Daiku really does not like playing against the legends, so we're gonna find out in just a little bit as he thinks a little bit about what map he wants to go to, possibly Twilight Grove. Yep, that is the Twilight pick, and will we see the Barraza? Yes, we will. Yes, two Barraza guesses in a row, correct. versus Cassidy. Dobrin versus Daiku. This is game five, loser's finals winner. This goes on to fight Twilight, and Three, hope for the reset two, loser of this one, is taking home third place. So the brain switching to his ultimate tryhard legend here as he's on Barraza. Downer comes out, tries to get a little bit more follow up as Daiku opens up the hammer and air, and Daiku sticking to Cassidy all the way. D-Light Sarah from the brain will put. Daiku in a little bit further percent. It's a nice nair connects as well. 
player still fighting it off with these guns. The rain. Tries to find another down air. Daiku goes in with a down air. Gets punished by a Sarah. Another Sarah will put him into the orange. And Daiku punishes that recovery with a side air. Recovery, recovery somehow clicks from up. below. Daiku is getting into the red. He's got to add up more damage. Strobrain switching it up. Has the axe now. And that's so much Sarah force. Daiku burned everything. And that ground pound will finish him off. Da Dobrain had such great punish there, be or, or patience there, because Daiku was trying to make it look like he was low on jumps, but Daiku kept track, or Dobrain kept track of all of it, waited for the recovery, and then punished after with that ground punish. Daiku goes for that GC down saying Dobrain wants nothing to do with it. The axe is in hand, and he is punishing Daiku hard with these down airs. Daiku trying to get the finishing blow, but Dobrain switches it up, has the guns, catches him with a dare. Another dare, can't get the stare follow up. Going, like, trying to stay above his opponent. Dobrain gonna switch it up again. Picks up an axe, can't get the Sarah connection. Daiku catches him with the Sarah, but he's gotta finish off Dobrain's first stock. Ooh. Otherwise, the huge strings Whoa. from Dobrain. And Sidelight Nair Sarah into Falling Sarah, and that's it for Daiku. Daiku's on his last stock of the tournament here, and he has yet to take one for Dobrain, and Dobrain's still winning out on these axe trades. And there into a dare connects a Sarah. Daiku getting absolutely demolished by Debrain's axe. This is the weapon that he's needed this entire set. As a down six. comes out. Oh no, Dobrain's the dare. Punish. Dare misses. Daiku gets above him, but the recovery from Dobrain sends Daiku down. Another dare from da Dobrain, but Daiku finally able to finish off that first stock with a dare. But at this point, is it a little bit too late? Daiku going for a nair, goes to a weapon toss into a pickup neutral light. Not able to do it twice in a row. Debrain finds Dobrain. that Sarah on a Daiku, and this is looking grim for Daiku's last stock as Debrain has the weapon that he... Well, okay, that Cider probably will do it. That should be it. Daiku not able to get the jumps. Dobrain wins it out in the loser's finals.